Scorpio, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 11th through June the 12th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 11th through June the 12th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 11th through June the 12th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 11th through June the 12th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Scorpio, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. Scorpio, you have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. So like I said, Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. You have the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Scorpio, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. And Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away from a commitment, maybe with the justice system for legal separation or divorce. 
Scorpio, you can tell me that something was a fair balance adjust so you're walking away from this commitment. You can tell me that something was a fair balance adjust in a family dynamics concerning family and you're walking away. <clears throat> Scorpio, I want to know, we'll see whether or not you're returning because someone is speaking of going to the Justice of the Peace to make it official. Let me get something to drink. I'm so sorry, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Scorpio, you have the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Scorpio, very well could be getting your wish here. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the nine of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Scorpio could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Scorpio, clarify the King of Swords. For Scorpio, clarify the King of Swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Scorpio... Very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Hmm. Scorpio. First off, when we're dealing with the King of Swords, this will put you in the mind of legal counsel or judge, someone who only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, or the proof of the matter. When we're dealing with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork, Scorpio. Now, you can tell me that you guys were stagnant and now you're getting your wish here, Scorpio. You got your soulmate back. You're becoming a couple and maybe taking it to the justice system to go into some type of commitment here. Coming out of a stagnation, someone's returning here, okay? Maybe making a decision to do so. Scorpio, you can tell me that 
you may be feeling smug here, making a decision to cut them off and go stagnant and walk away here. Could also tell me that you guys are stagnant, you cut them off, you made this decision. Could be overindulging, trying to numb out. I don't know what they did to you, Scorpio. We will see. So I don't know if you're making a decision to use the sword to sever or what. Let's see. Scorpio, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Scorpio, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're physically moving and relocating. You're actually physically leaving. I don't know. Scorpio, you can tell me, you know what, in this already established commitment, I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. I want to leave. Or Scorpio, you're saying, you know what, let's just put whatever happened behind us. Because I have a big old Kool-Aid smile on my face. And we're getting ready to solidify the soulmate connection and make it official and just level up. This is the reason why I'm coming back. Because you're speaking of going to the justice of the peace and making it official. I need to know if you're going or coming, Scorpio. Because so far, you could be going or coming. Let's see. Scorpio, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords for Scorpio. Clarify the four swords for Scorpio. Clarify the four swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified. One minute, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Now, 
after I pulled the Queen of Pentacles, I had a flashback, Scorpio, <laughs> of the time when it was fire and earth and earth and fire constantly. I mean, constantly in your reads. I was just thinking about it. And then here we go with this fire. Nevertheless, I digress. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Scorpio, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Scorpio, I feel like in you guys' it's already established commitment or relationship here, Scorpio, you're taking action to maybe just end things, Scorpio, because there's some type of hurt, mourning, disappointment. So I feel like you've come into some truth and clarity about something. You didn't tell me about what, and you're using this sword to sever because you kept saying, you know what, I want to end it and leave. You're saying, I just like want to leave this relationship. You can tell me that you just want to cut things off and go stagnant. So, Scorpio, I feel like there was some type of disappointment, something that you're finding out about that is causing you to just want to cut ties here. Could be cutting ties in the justice system. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, Dark Night of the Soul. <sighs> the purge. I'm going to take a look at the hidden truth oracle for you and your partner, Scorpio. <clears throat> and it says, I left when I saw you with someone. You came into tr some truth and clarity about something here, Scorpio. I left when I saw you with someone. Scorpio, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 11th through June the 12th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.